Now in reptiles there is an exception. The exception is the crocodiles. In crocodiles, see in reptiles we saw three chambered heart, how it is we just saw. But in crocodiles, we have four chambered heart where you can see complete division between the ventricles. So it has become complete four chambered heart. But associate with the heart, there is sinus venosus. And associate with ventricles, you can see that three aortic arches. Internal structure, aortic arches, sinus venosus, there is no much difference. But difference is in the ventricles only. But since ventricles are completely divided, it is a complete double circulation is seen in crocodiles, an exception in reptiles. Now if you see birds, birds you see four chambered heart. So the left side and right side, the left side which carries the oxygenated blood and right side which carries the deoxygenated blood that, that the left and right chambers are completely divided, so complete double circulation. Sinus venous is absent. The sinus venous itself became pacemaker and it became SCA node. The sinus venous is, it got reduced, it has come to lie in the right atrium. It itself is called pacemaker, it is now called a sinoatrial node, that is the pacemaker. And associated with bird's heart, we will have two aortic arches only. One is the pulmonary arch, as usual pulmonary arch, which is taking deoxygenated blood outside, it is going to the lungs, it is starting from the right ventricle and originating from the left ventricle. You will see the systemic arch, there is only one systemic here. So systemic, that is the systemic arch. A single systemic arch, since it is going to the right side, you call it as right systemic. So we got two aortic arches only. A complete double circulation is seen because right and left sides are completely separate. There is no mixing of blood between the left and right sides and complete double circulation is seen. There is four chambered heart. So it is completely divided, both the atria and ventricles are completely divided, so there is a a complete double circulation here and like in case of birds SA node is sorry SA the sinus venosus is absent and it became SA node the sinus venosus which is present in our ancestors the reptiles it got reduced it has come to lie inside the right atrium now it has become SA node like in case of birds also and Associated with the mammalian heart, we have two aortic arches only, two aortic arches. One is the pulmonary arch. Pulmonary arch, as usual, it starts from the right side, it is taking deoxygenated blood, it is going outside, divides into two, it goes to the lungs. And from the left side, I mean the left ventricle, originates a single systemic arch. The systemic arch, it goes to the left side, it goes to the left side. So that's why we call it as left systemic. In case of birds, it, go, it has gone to the right side, but in case of mammals, it has gone to the left side. That's the only difference. Otherwise, birds and mammalian hearts, they have come from reptilian heart and they have got similar modifications. In both cases, sinus venosus is gone. In both cases, there is a complete double circulation, like in case of crocodiles. But the aortic arches will differ. In case of birds, there is the right systemic. In case of mammals, there is the left systemic. In crocodiles, I said there was there is a complete four-chambered heart, so there is a complete double circulation. But there is the principal pacemaker is still the sinus venosus. The number of aortic arches are three, and it is similar to the reptiles.